Over the last few weeks on Monday Night Raw, these superstars have scratched and clawed their way for opportunity, making their way through triple threat matches, and then all roads led to just seven nights ago. The megastar LA Knight punched his ticket to a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the phenomenal AJ Styles. Unfortunately, the back half of that matchup saw things break down into a double countout. CM Punk trying to make the save off a beatdown. AJ Styles, the last man standing. But as confirmed earlier this afternoon, AJ Styles and LA Knight better be thanking their lucky stars. They have got themselves a dual opportunity. Another triple threat is just around the corner as they meet CM Punk at no mercy for the WWE Championship. That is coming up a week from Saturday in Montreal, but tonight here in Calgary, CM Punk stands alongside one of the number one contenders as they take on Carl Anderson, as well as Luke Gallows of the OC. Massive tag team match later tonight. And speaking of tag team action, we want to take you back to last week. The Usos victorious over the authors of pain, but those ever looming issues with the Judgment Day, the beatdown by Damian Priest and Finn Balor. Well, Jay and Jimmy have been very vocal on WWE.com all week long, and as announced on WWE.com, these two men have thrown out a challenge for the Judgment Day. One more encounter. The Usos want tables, ladders, and chairs. All we know about this situation is that Damian Priest and Finn Balor have promised to respond right here tonight on Monday Night Raw. We are live from the Stampede City, Cowtown, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, in Saskotia Bank Saddle Dome. And we kick things off with a first round matchup in the Queen of the Ring Tournament. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Ayrshire, Scotland. Well, let us take a look at the queen of the ring bracket the tournament of course kicked off seven nights ago right here on raw so far Liv morgan as well as bailey have advanced for the monday night raw side raquel rodriguez and blair davenport punching their ticket to the quarterfinals this past friday night on smackdown Coming up in just a bit here at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome, the Queen of Hearts, Natalia, is back in her homeland of Canada as she takes on the center of the universe, Tiffany Stratton. But right here, right now, animosity between Piper Niven and the man, Becky Lynch, takes center stage in the Queen of the Ring Tournament. These two women passed cross just a few months ago on Raw. Piper Niven has been out to use Becky Lynch as a stepping stone for success. Well, the man, Becky Lynch, has accomplished a hell of a lot here in the WWE, but winning the inaugural Queen of the Ring Tournament certainly could be a feather in the cap. But wait a minute here. Sonya Deville attacking Becky Lynch from behind. Well, we have seen Piper, Sonya, and Chelsea and use their numbers to outweigh Becky and, of course, Bailey for months here on Monday Night Raw. And even though Piper Niven walked out here lonesome tonight, Sonya Deville was just waiting behind the man. Trying to get the edge. The bell has sounded. Becky Lynch is now going to try to find a way to shake off the cobwebs and think on her feet in this matchup with Piper Niven. Should expect nothing less from the group we have called the Mean Girls and Piper and Sonya and Chelsea, but nonetheless, Niven now off the middle buckle. Becky Lynch is worse for wear in the early moments of this matchup. Well, we thank you for joining us right here tonight on Monday Night Raw. One week from Saturday, we're going to be in Montreal. No mercy. We are kicking off our Canada tour right here tonight in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. But of course, these women are fighting for a spot in New York City on the 21st of September at the Queen of the Ring event. The semifinals and the finals of the tournament will take place on that night in the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. And to the victor go the spoils. Not only will the last woman standing etch their name in history as the 2024 Queen of the Ring winner, 
but he'll also earn a title opportunity at Survivor Series. Piper Niven might have just squashed Becky Lynch's chances of making her way to New York City. Piper and Becky have been at odds for months. Ever since Becky Lynch returned to WWE after a several month sabbatical, defeating Chelsea Green in a Money in the Bank qualifier back in July, Piper Niven has taken issue with the man. We saw Becky Lynch defeat Piper in one on one action back in July in London, England. A celebration was not to be as Piper Niven laid out the man moments after the matchup. The last time we saw Becky Lynch in action, she had an unfortunate tap out loss to Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green alongside Bailey in that tag team bout. Luckily for Bailey, she was able to bounce back last week. Victory over Chelsea in the first round of the Queen of the Ring tournament. And now we see Piper Niven getting a crack at the man. Animosity between these two women. Becky Lynch is not looking to come out on the opposite side of victory tonight. Knocking Piper to the outside momentarily and down she goes again. Here comes the man dropping the axe hammer. Piper Niven now, the one looking up at the lights. Certainly been a newsworthy night as we kicked off Monday Night Raw. The WWE Championship will be on the line in a triple threat matchup one week from Saturday at No Mercy. And Jay and Jimmy Uso who have been at odds with the Judgment Day since back in March. Looking to write the final chapter to that story. Looking for the trilogy fight. We saw the chairs instituted last week. Jay and Jimmy are looking to add tables and ladders to the equation, but will the Judgment Day accept that challenge? We find out later tonight here on Raw. Piper Niven brought back inside the squared circle as Becky Lynch is feeling it on top. And now off she goes, beautifully executed senton into the cover. And will that be all she wrote? Not just yet. Becky Lynch struggling to keep down the powerful shoulders of that Scottish destroyer in Piper Niven. Becky Lynch is doing a hell of a good job at least keeping the momentum on her side. And this is a woman who is no stranger to fighting an uphill battle. Was forced to survive the early fury from Piper Niven. Moments after that ambush from Sonya Deville in the aisle way. But now it's Piper creating some distance and face first goes the man. As we mentioned the last time these two women went one on one, Becky Lynch was the victor. Piper Niven, however, looking for a different result. The man might have got caught. The man may be rocked. Down to the canvas she goes. And a monumental victory for Piper. You don't have to agree with the way this match started, but nobody can deny the result. Like it or not, Piper Niven just scored a huge win over a future Hall of Famer at Becky Lynch. Piper Niven is moving on to meet Liv Morgan next week in the quarterfinals of the Queen of the Ring Tournament. But we are moving right along, live from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Natalia! The Queen of Hearts is on home turf, and she's in action live up next here on Raw.
We are back inside the Scotiabank Saddle Dome as the self-proclaimed center of the universe, Tiffany Stratton, is set to compete against the home turf fighting Natalia. Queen of the Ring first round matchup, the final one on behalf of Monday Night Raw. Of course, this coming Friday, not one but two first round matches coming your way, courtesy of Friday Night Smackdown. We're here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Natalia is fighting on home soil here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. The Queen of Hearts of the legendary Hart family. Looking to take down Tiffany Stratton and move one step closer to competing in the world's most famous arena in the back half of this month. Tiffany Stratton, young, certainly full of confidence and a hell of a lot of attitude that Natalia is going to have to try to withstand here tonight. Natalia, veteran of the squared circle. It's been quite some time since she has seen success. Tonight could be the beginning of a whole new story for the Queen of Hearts. And certainly with this hometown crowd behind her, Tiffany Stratton, dare I say, is the one fighting an uphill battle. So Stratton try to come hide out of the gate, but Natalia has turned the tables, not allowing Stratton to dictate the pace here in her hometown of Calgary. Already saw moments ago a huge, dare I say, an upset as Piper Niven was able to keep down the man, Becky Lynch. Piper gonna move on to fight Liv Morgan next week on Raw. Natalia, however, in her pursuit of victory, just got caught right to the rib cage. Tiffany Stratton, huge counter. Down she goes. Of course, we know Bailey, who defeated Chelsea Green next week, awaits the winner of this contest between Natalia and the center of the universe, Tiffany Stratton. And there's Stratton showcasing her Olympic level athletic ability. Stratton is somebody who has been on the rise here on Monday Night Raw as challenged for the WWE Women's Championship in months prior. The Queen of the Ring tournament could be where Stratton truly breaks out from the pack. All remains to be seen, easier said than done. The competition usually only gets more difficult as a tournament progresses. And Tiffany Stratton's opening round matchup could not be any more difficult as she is one-on-one -on -one with a veteran, somebody who knows this ring inside and out in Natalia. You can't say Stratton, former NXT Women's Champion, is not holding her own here. Might be getting caught. Going up top and looking for a little bit of a high-octane maneuver. Beautifully executed. Missile drop kick. Tiffany Stratton taking Natalia off her feet. I don't know if Natalia saw that coming. And now Stratton may be looking to keep things down and grounded. Slow down the pace as she has got Natalia, the queen of hearts, right where she wants her. Of course, also coming up at the Queen of the Ring in several weeks, the WWE Women's Championship on behalf of Monday Night Raw going to be on the line as the new champion, Cora Jade, who cashed in her Money in the Bank contract back at SummerSlam, defends her title in a triple threat against the EST, Bianca Belair, and the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Two former champions who also at one point during the events of the biggest party of the summer several weeks ago had their hands on the gold. Queen of the Ring going to be one hell of an event live from the world's most famous arena in Madison Square Garden. Saturday night, September the 21st. Natalia looking to move one step closer to that extraordinary event. Fortunately for the veteran, Tiffany Stratton, young, hungry, and confident in her pursuit. On the reversal that time, Natalia set to the ropes. Stratton, full head of steam, got caught. Rookie mistake that she could not afford against the veteran. And now it's Natalia looking to make the most of that mishap. She's got Tiffany Stratton up against the ropes. You see, she's not doing anything fancy. Just keeping it simple and effective as now, face first off the canvas she goes. That might rearrange those pretty looks of the buff Barbie. Tiffany Stratton, I'm sure, is going to spend a lot of time fixing up her makeup in the mirror after this contest. She is in a physical fight with the Queen of Hearts. Natalia not looking to be denied in her hometown of Calgary, Alberta, Canada tonight. Tiffany Stratton taking off her feet. A maneuver that her father would be proud of. But Tiffany Stratton still alive. Natalia thought she had this matchup won. Discus Lariat wiping out 
The buff Barbie, unfortunately for Natalia, Tiffany able to get her shoulder off the canvas. Tiffany has proven to be tough, but does she have the resilience to take down Natalia in the back half of this matchup? Reversal that time. Now Natalia is on the shoulder. Senton down goes the Queen of Hearts. Stratton needs to take Calgary, Alberta, Canada out of this matchup. Cannot allow a hometown rally and try to withstand that here tonight. Tiffany Stratton now starting to get physical. We talked about this earlier in the matchup. She had Natalia down. She tried to keep her there. It didn't work out. Maybe this time around, Stratton is going to be able to put the pieces together. Just on the Queen of Hearts that time. We're going to talk about nothing pretty. Natalia's going to feel that one on Tuesday morning. Going to feel that forearm as well as Stratton now out of the corner. Beautifully executed corkscrew. And unfortunately for Natalia, her homecoming in Calgary was not an eventful one. Tiffany Stratton outlasting Natalia's motivation to succeed in her hometown. And Stratton taking one step closer to truly being crowned the center of the universe at the Queen of the Ring event on the 21st of September. Tiffany Stratton just screams superstar. And she is moving one step closer to being in the limelight as she advances to the quarterfinals where she will meet Bailey live and in living color next week on Raw. From one veteran to another, will Stratton be able to advance? Also next week, Piper Niven back in action, hot off the heels of her victory over the man, Becky Lynch. She takes on former champion and Liv Morgan live next week here on Raw. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a No Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. For months here on Raw, the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, and the A-list superstar The Miz have been at odds. Nakamura tried to use The Miz as a reminder to the WWE Universe just how dangerous he could be. The Miz not standing for it. Hell, even our truth got involved at one point. But these issues gonna come to a head this Saturday at WWE Live in a no disqualification match. Nakamura meets The Miz. Also this Saturday for channel members, the WWE Tag Team titles are on the line from Friday Night SmackDown in a rematch as the LWO battles Angel and Berto. And courtesy of Monday Night Raw, a six-man tag team contest is signed on. Sami Zayn has had his issues with the Judgment Day for months. He's going to need two, two tag team partners as he is set to battle. Dominic, Balor, and Priest, six-man tag, live for channel members this Saturday at WWE Live. Hit the join button down below with the link up in the cards, and don't miss the opportunity to punch your golden ticket. But it is time for some heavyweight action here on Raw. And his opponent from Sheriffsport, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, I believe it goes something like this. That is one big Son of a bitch! Braun Strowman back in action here on Monday Night Raw for the first time since the month of February. Returning two weeks ago, taking down the Nigerian giant Omas after Omas has been picking on men a lot smaller than his size to say the least throughout the summer. 
Well, the monster of all monsters returns to action tonight, and he's got himself a very fitting opponent. Calgary, Alberta coming unglued for Braun as he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Ivar of the Viking Raiders. Braun Strowman looking great, looking healthy, looking like a certified heavyweight. But Ivar looking to give him a run for his money here tonight. Looking to create some momentum for himself on Braun Strowman's behalf. Well, as this matchup progresses, once again, we want to remind you to hit the join button down below, become a Noah Nation Gaming channel member, and do not miss out on WWE Live for channel members only this Saturday night right here in Canada. So much action going to be on hand on the road to no mercy one week from Saturday, and of course, the queen of the ring at the end of the month. Ivar coming off the middle buckle, and Braun Strowman has temporarily been neutralized. The behemoth of the Viking Raiders, Ivar, of course, the very strange Valhalla in his corner. But Braun Strowman, at least from a mind game's perception, does not seem to be phased. Oh, man, there's the strength of the monster of all monsters. Not very many men are going to be able to do that to Ivar. Braun Strowman, a different breed. We saw Braun choke slam Omos right through this announce table just two weeks ago. Omos getting a taste of his own medicine, but... Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, wait a minute, I am being told Damian Priest has taken an X and has responded to the Usos about their challenge for the tables, ladders, and chairs matchup. We are going to take a closer look at Damian Priest's response to Jay and Jimmy coming up next here on Monday Night Raw. Certainly an interesting situation that's been developing throughout the night as Ivar just knocks Braun Strowman right off the ring. Braun Strowman looking worse for wear. Ivar, my goodness, creating a full head of steam. My God. That is one big Viking. Taking out Braun Strowman as these two heavyweights collide with massive force. Oh, but Braun stopping Ivar dead in his tracks. Braun wanted some competition. First time he's been in action since a matchup with Bobby Lashley here on Raw. Back in the month of February, he is certainly getting a fight tonight. And look at Ivar. Damn near being manhandled, or shall I say monster handled, by Strowman. And a big time submission hold. We said it before, we'll say it again. Not very many people are going to be able to dish out this kind of offense to Ivar, but Braun Strowman, obviously, a different kind of man. Ivar might have got caught. Big time power slam. Welcome back, Braun Strowman. That's going to be a victory for what big S will be. A man who is going to be a force to be reckoned with is back on Monday Night Raw. The monster of all monsters. And oh man, the Nigerian giant, Omas staring down Braun Strowman. Something is brewing between these two colossal individuals. And I can't wait to see what happens next. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code. Follow on TikTok and don't miss a second of Velocity. Damian Priest has taken an X and had this to say. On behalf of the Judgment Day, we accept the Usos challenge for a TLC match on one condition. If we're putting our tag team titles up, then the Usos can put their jobs on Raw up. If Jay and Jimmy dare to accept, we will see them at no mercy? I, 
Well, I'm a little bit taken back here. The Judgment Day want the Usos to put their jobs on Monday Night Raw on the line? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit lost for words, but Raw rolls on nonetheless. Well, hopefully we will hear from the Usos by night's end. But what we do know is coming up on the 21st at Queen of the Ring, Bianca Belair looks to win back the championship she held for mere minutes when she takes on Rhea Ripley and the champion Cora Jade in a triple threat contest. The WWE Women's title will be on the line at Queen of the Ring. The EST now looking to get back on track as she is set for action live from Calgary, Alberta. Bianca Belair taking down Rhea Ripley at SummerSlam, holding the title for just mere minutes before Cora Jade arrived on the scene and cashed in her Money in the Bank contract. All roads come to a head in Madison Square Garden on the 21st. Well, of course, Velocity goes down each and every Wednesday afternoon only on TikTok. And this week, one half of the tag team champions from SmackDown, Angel Garza, takes on one of his number one contenders in Santos Escobar. You want to see the action? Go ahead and scan the QR code on your screen right now. Be sure to hit the follow and wait in anticipation for the action on Velocity that goes down each and every Wednesday on TikTok. Meet Shin back in action tonight. And rewarded an opportunity going one-on-one -on -one with one of the number one contenders for the WWE Women's title and Bianca Belair. Mi Chin just seven nights ago took Liv Morgan to her limits in her return matchup in the first round of the Queen of the Ring tournament. Liv Morgan, of course, successful, but Mi Chin turned a lot ahead seven nights ago. Now goes one-on-one -on -one with Bianca Belair here at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome on Monday Night Raw. This is the first time Bianca is seeing action since an extremely physical war of attrition-like contest against Rhea Ripley and Ford Field at SummerSlam. And Bianca Belair has just got to keep her head on straight, focus on the task at hand, the triple threat matchup at Queen of the Ring. We cannot get too far ahead or Mi Chin is going to find a way to pull a victory out from underneath of her tonight because right now, Mi Chin is picking up right where she left off against Liv Morgan last week, sending Bianca Belair to the outside. And what an eventful night it has been on Monday Night Raw. And I can't believe the news we found out moments ago. The Judgment Day responding to the Usos challenge for a tables, ladders, and chairs matchup at No Mercy. Damian Priest saying, sure, we will meet you in your matchup. You want TLC, you got it. But if we're putting the tag team titles on the line, you have to put your contracts, your jobs on Monday Night Raw. Dare I say their livelihoods on the line. I don't really agree with the Judgment Day having the pull to do that, but these are some of the top guys on Monday Night Raw. They are the World Tag Team Champions. The champions kind of call the shots. If Jay and Jimmy want the opportunity, they're going to have to accept Damian Priest and Finn Balor's condition. All remains to be seen if we're going to see that matchup go down at no mercy a week from Saturday in Montreal, but nonetheless, Bianca Belair starting to rev up the engines. Here tonight in Calgary. Bianca not looking to see a loss just weeks prior to an opportunity to regain the women's championship she held just for a couple of minutes at SummerSlam. But if Mi Chin's got her way, Bianca Belair might be knocked out cold at the current moment. That was a mean boot in the corner. Liv Morgan can tell Bianca all about how physical Mi Chin can be from bell to bell. Knee right to the side of the face, and look at Meat Chin not going for a cover just yet, just as looking to stack the offense. You gotta commend Meat Chin. She is a veteran of the squared circle, world traveled, has held championships around the globe, but looking for her breakout performance in WWE. Bianca Belair. Nice reversal that time. Meat Chin, very physical, a lot of strikes, loves to take things to the air, but Bianca Belair showing why she is the strongest and one of the toughest in Monday Night Raw. 
And now over the top rope, the EST going for flight. Mi Chin might have her bell rung. In just of a matter of a few seconds, she went from in control to down and out. That is how difficult it is when you're inside the squared circle with one of the best. And Bianca Belair goes behind Mi Chin, going for a ride, face first off the canvas. Bianca Belair hell-bent on getting back the women's title. Oh, hang on. Well, there's the nightmare Rhea Ripley, who of course fell short to Bianca Belair several weeks ago at SummerSlam. Well, these two women's paths will cross and, oh, wait a minute, the women's champion Cora Jade attacking Rhea from behind. And dare I say, all's fair in love and war. Rhea laid out Cora two weeks ago with her own championship. Jaded right on the steel. Who is gonna leave the garden as the champion? Coming your way on Saturday night, September 14th. Witness the aftermath of the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, as WWE and Noah Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present No Mercy. No Mercy comes to you live from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't miss championship clashes, personal battles, high stakes, and high rewards. All on the line on the 14th of September at WWE No Mercy! It is official. Challenge accepted at no mercy. The Usos will beat the Judgment Day in tables, ladders, and chairs. But it is the World Tag Team titles versus the jobs of Jay and Jimmy. High stakes, highest reward at no mercy. And also on the road to no mercy, we have seen a physical war between Braun Breaker, Baron Corbin, carrying Cross and the Authors of Pain. Breaker and Corbin brought together through a common enemy in the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross hell-bent on taking out his two rivals. Taking back to the AOP, ambushing those two men last month here on Monday Night Raw, and the issues have only continued to progress between all of these individuals. Something's gotta give. Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin wanna get even with Karrion Cross, but the AOP stand in their way. Well, they're on the road to payback, and that road makes a pit stop at no mercy. Officially signed, Aikam and Razor on the Authors of Pain take on the men that are calling themselves the Wolf Dogs, Baron Corbin and Mr. Money in the Bank, Braun Breaker. All of that coming your way a week from Saturday in Montreal. But it is main event time in Stampede City. So Scotiabank Saddle Dome has been full of action here tonight, but there is still a couple of bells to be sounded. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. Accompanied by AJ Styles, and a combined weight of 505 pounds. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the OC. AJ Styles might have gotten counted out with LA Knight last week, but the chaos that ensued leads us to a triple threat matchup for the WWE Championship. At no mercy, the Second City Saint, CM Punk, defends the gold against the megastar, as well as the phenomenal one. Three top stars, three all-stars of Monday Night Raw with one common goal of being the champ. And LA Knight's gotta be looking for a little bit of retribution after the bedlam that ensued last week on Raw. And the opponents first from Los Angeles. 
Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight! Well, one thing that cannot be questioned is the momentum of L.A. Knight as well as A.J. Styles. Both of these men have been, been victorious in recent weeks. Of course, two weeks ago, the triple threat victories on both sides for LA Knight and AJ Styles. And they went pillar to post. One hell of an exciting main event last week on Raw that just found us with an unfortunate finish. The double count out as AJ Styles was beating the hell out of LA Knight at ringside. CM Punk tried to even the odds and we saw how that went. When you're the WWE Champion, you hold the power, you hold dominion. And to the victor goes the spoils. And throughout the summer of 2024, this man has seen nothing but victory. And that is why he is the WWE Champion today. From city to city, they chant his name loud and proud. From ringside to the rafters, everyone acknowledges the best in the world. I am sure deep down CM Punk is not satisfied having to defend his championship in a triple threat matchup at No Mercy. A matchup where he does not have to be pinned to lose his WWE title. But the Chicago native is going to go back to his roots. He's going to do what he always does. Clinch up his fist and start swinging. If a fight is going to be had at No Mercy, CM Punk is going to give LA Knight and AJ Styles hell. A man who will do anything to be the WWE Champion. We saw throughout the summer doing what he had to do just to get an opportunity. Two classic battles against Kevin Owens, the latest being at SummerSlam. Punk holds the rightful spot on top of Monday Night Raw, but he's got two prime superstars coming for his target. Nonetheless, tonight CM Punk and LA Knight stand side by side, which really shouldn't be an issue as we have seen respect between these two gentlemen in the past. And LA Knight hot out of the gate, taking down the big LG Luke Gallows. Knight and Punk, their paths have crossed before. In the month of August at WWE Live, LA Knight had earned himself an opportunity to battle CM Punk in a one-on-one -on -one matchup for the WWE Championship. There's of course a loss on that night for the Megastar. Both men shaking hands in the middle of that squared circle. Respect was there weeks ago between the Megastar and the Second City Saint. I am sure nothing is different tonight and nothing will be different at No Mercy. But at No Mercy, respect will certainly go out the window when the championship is on the line. And of course, a triple threat matchup. Sees a bend to the rules. No count outs, no disqualifications. Anything can happen in the Bell Center in Montreal one week from Saturday. CM Punk locking horns with his old running buddy and the big LG Luke Gallows. I got a feeling Gallows isn't going to be pledging his allegiance to the Straight Edge Society tonight, only to the original club as the machine gun Carl Anderson is tagged in and CM Punk didn't see that shot coming. Tonight for the OC, I'm sure the game plan is simple. Beat down the champion, continue to add and rub salt in the wounds on LA Knight more than what AJ Styles did last week. Get a victory and keep away the momentum from those two superstars that AJ Styles will meet in the triple threat matchup at No Mercy. Oral Anderson just sent in the WWE Champion CM Punk to the outside and a cheap shot on LA Knight behind the referee Rod Zapata's back. OC never been afraid to bend the rules and although AJ Styles has seen a lot of success over the last few months on Raw, singles victories up and down the roster, the triple threat win two weeks ago. 
Anderson and Gallows cannot necessarily say the same, so I am sure Styles is hoping that those two men are going to come out in a blaze of glory tonight and keep down two All-Stars. Oh, my goodness. Easier said than done when you're in there with the WWE Champion. And another cheap shot that time. Hulk not watching the ring awareness of the legal competitor and a tag was made. Luke Gallows, the big LG, bringing the power to the OC arsenal. CM Punk certainly feeling it firsthand here tonight. Of course, again, on the road to no mercy, we make a pit stop at Edmonton right here in Canada this Saturday night channel member exclusive WWE live event. Be sure to hit the join button down below. Hit the link up into the cards. Did you not miss your opportunity to punch your golden ticket to that WWE live event this Saturday night? WWE Tag Team titles will be on the line as the LWO take on Angel and Birdo. The Judgment Day contests Sami Zayn and two partners of his choosing in a six-man tag team matchup. The Miz, Nakamura, one-on-one -on -one and no disqualifications and so much more. Now tag made. The OC looking to put this thing away. Down goes the WWE Champion off the double team. Wipe out is CM Punk. A very similar position that AJ Styles left him in last week. Styles was beaten down on LA Knight. CM Punk tried to make the save and he got dropped with a Styles clash for his troubles. AJ Styles just looking to keep momentum on his side and have a phenomenal outing come no mercy and hopes to win the WWE title once again. I'll tell you what, the OC working like a well-oiled machine. This is a tag team that has won championships all around the globe. CM Punk desperately makes the tag to the megastar LA Knight, but Luke Gallows right there. Oh, drop toe hold. The megastar trying to be the lifeline for himself and CM Punk tonight, but it may be a never happy ever after if the OC have their way. Reversal that time, the big LG sends LA Knight in an enemy territory. You see a lot of tags and a lot of double team maneuvers out of Anderson and Gallows tonight doing what they do best. Out wrestling these two single superstars in a tag team matchup. There's LA Knight, massive neck breaker to take the big man down. And now LA Knight looking to put the final nail in the coffin of this matchup. Signature maneuver that time. And Calgary certainly behind one of the most popular superstars on the Monday Night Raw roster. LA Knight within inches of defeating AJ Styles and getting a one-on-one -on -one outing with CM Punk last week. Unfortunately, was not to be. And speaking of AJ Styles, taking LA Knight's eye off the ball. And Luke Gallows makes him pay. And that is the underhanded tactics that the OC will lean on if need be. Do they need to? No, they have all the talent in the world. But not afraid to cut corners is that trio. Reversal by LA Knight. And much needed. Well timed. Oh man, Gallows. Stare up at the lights and a signature elbow dropped by LA Knight. Into the cover. Carl Anderson going to break things up. Close call that time. Close, but no cigar there, I say. 4-1 of the top challengers at no mercy. Well, the damage clearly done. Luke Gallows trying to get to his feet, but he's on spaghetti legs. LA Knight adding some salt to his wounds. He'll be looking for the exclamation point, possibly a blood force trauma. Gallows with the counter. LA Knight goes behind. Down goes Gallows again. And now a tag made to the best in the world, the WWE Champion CM Punk. With AJ Styles looking on at ringside, an opportunity for Punk and LA Knight to send an emphatic message. Punk now going to the top. You want to talk about signature? Look no further than that beautifully timed elbow drop from the champ. And it leads them to victory in your Monday Night Raw main event. What did we say a few moments ago? If the OC had their way, tonight could have been a never happy ever after for CM Punk and LA Knight.
but CM Punk and LA Knight making sure that was not to be. A couple of cheap shots, a couple of setbacks, but the champ and one of his challengers standing tall. AJ Styles not going to be happy about that, but at the end of the day, it is the WWE Champion. Wait a minute. LA Knight. Blood force trauma to CM Punk. Well, there may be respect, but respect goes out the window when the bell sounds. One week from Saturday in Montreal, every man for himself, triple threat matchup. LA Knight is looking to leave no mercy, WWE Champion.